Hey guys, I just want to show you something here. There's this guy, his name is Sergio. He operates this uh, fruit stand out of the back of his pickup truck. I'm here at the corner of um, East Lake and Darrington, just on the edge of Horizon City. And he has a great deal on chiles, mangoes, oranges, and apples, and avocados. And I went ahead and bought myself five apples and whoops. Hold on a second. Five oranges. And I got that for two bucks. And people, there's not a line of car right, cars right now, but earlier there was. So people have been stopping by all day. And um, yeah, he's got a great deal. Definitely better than the grocery stores. And um, the fruit is a very big size. I mean, it's not the biggest in the world, but it's very reasonable size, especially when you're getting five of them for a dollar. So um, I don't normally even eat red apples. But I couldn't pass it up because it's five apples for a dollar. I'm normally a green apple guy, but I'll take red apples if I can get them, especially for a good deal. So, looks like there's another customer coming. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know. Um, he says he sets up here. Uh, through my broken Spanish, I think I understood that he sets up here um, throughout the week. Every day, pretty much. Uh, throughout the week at this spot. Here at the corner of East Lake and Darrington. Yep, like I said, there's another lady buying more stuff. Um, I guess I've just been driving by and not really noticing this guy, because I was always just this is a place I just passed through. I, you know, I don't even normally go to this gas station, but today I did, just out of pure chance. I always pass by it. I never noticed this guy, but obviously he's been here for a minute or two because all these people keep coming. Um, anyway, like I said, you want to get a good price on some apples, oranges, chiles, anything else like that. Hold on a second. Por qué está grabando, bro? Por qué está grabando? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Oh, no, no Facebook. Oh, it's para negocio. No, no. 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 Oh, okay. No, no Facebook. No, no, no. No, 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 no Facebook. Okay, it's uh, me amigos. I was just telling them. Oh, okay, uh, amigos suyo? Yeah, okay. oranges, apples. Ah, yeah. publicar gente no. No más amigos. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Stalkers cause their victims severe stress and anxiety, and stalking can almost be thought of as a type of mental assault. Stalking as an act has been around for a long time, but criminal laws against it are relatively new. The Texas Penal Code offense of stalking was enacted in 1997. The Penal Code states, a person commits stalking if, on more than one occasion and, in the same scheme, engages in conduct directed specifically at another that constitutes the Penal Code offense of harassment or the actor knows or reasonably should know the other person will regard the conduct as threatening, bodily injury or death for the person, member of their household, or with someone they have a dating relationship, or an offense against the property of another person, and it would cause a reasonable person to fear bodily injury or death for the person, member of their household, or with someone they have a dating relationship, or an offense against the property of another person, or finally, would cause another person to feel harassed, annoyed, alarmed, abused, tormented, embarrassed, or offended. A person who commits stalking and has a previous conviction under the laws of Texas or another state has committed a felony of the second degree. All other stalking offenses are felonies of the third degree. Finally, the penal code states the type of conduct described in the statute need not be exactly the same in order to qualify as on more than one occasion.
Constable's office in El Paso County getting some new equipment to keep deputies and the public safe. El Paso County commissioners approved the funding through a local grant program. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela here with why the money is so important. When it comes to responding to any threats, the constable's office, Precinct 1, says it wants to be prepared no matter the circumstance or time. Anytime there's a hot call, we would go out there and respond. You know, anytime there's a, a call that comes in, either shots fired, barricaded subject, if we're in the area, we're going to respond. Gearing up when duty calls. The constable's office, Precinct 1, was granted $4,300 from Walmart's local community grant program to add more security and safety when officers respond to a situation involving a firearm. This grant specifically will buy two ballistic shields. We have a very small budget, so as far as the ballistic shields, these are the ones you can actually carry, so it's not just used for personal use. We can actually use these to extract people. Let's say uh, there's a barricaded subject, we have some residents in there, we can actually use this shield to move people out of danger. Or when we're making entry into a house, we do have carry our own ballistic vest, but the, the shield will give us extra protection. Precinct 1 already has gear that helps protect officers such as ballistic helmets, vests, along with entry equipment. This precinct is the only one in El Paso County with this gear, which is why it applies for grants in hopes of equipping other precincts for their protection. You never know what officer is going to be responding to a situation. So if you're the first officer on scene, you'll be ready to respond. The constable's office, Precinct 1, says its goal is to equip all 28 units in the county with a ballistic shield. That's the Favela, KTSM 9 News. Well, guys, apparently this man is uh, not pleased with me Vito recording his fruit stand. I didn't mean to piss him off, but I told him that there was my right to video record in public. He said he's calling the police, so just for my protection, I went ahead and started recording him. Um, he claims he's calling the police right now, so I don't want to flee from any crime scene. So sitting here while I was parked since the beginning, waiting for the police. Just give me a second. How's it going? How's it going? That's you it. Talk? Yes, nah. Lupes, que tengo un día, okay? Okay, thank you.
too, so it's all good. ¿Cuánto? Seven. Seven. All right. Hey, es que es que me asustas, me asustas. Oh no 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 problem. Ah okay okay. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay está bien. No problem. Es es un uh, buen negocio. Sí gracias. Okay thank you. Yeah no problem. Sergio. ¿Tu vida aquí en uh, Horizon? Yeah. Okay me too. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, been there, mangoes. It's good mangoes. Yeah, more mangoes. Okay, thank you. No problem.